Hi, this is Deborah at Dinglefoot.com, and this week I'm going to be making a bridal shower card. And I just have a kind of pearlized paper background. This is from Die Cuts with a View Luxury Stack. And then I have this image of a lady. And you can actually go to the link below and pick up a copy for yourself. And I took uh, Spellbinders Nestabilities die. This is from the labels one, and I used the next to the largest one, and I just placed it on here and ran it through my machine. So that's why it has that nice little shape. And other than that, I have some lace and some ribbon, and I also made a little bow from the tan sort of ribbon. I have some iridescent gold glimmer mist and some cotton candy stickles and a few of these little jewels. So I'm going to be using the medium sized jewels and I have some adhesive. So to make this card I'm simply going to take my image of this girl. I'm going to use my iridescent gold glimmer mist. I need to shake it up a little bit. It always has a residue, you can see at the bottom. So you have to get that kind of swirled around in there. And I'm just going to stay back just a little bit from my image. And I'm just going to give it a light squirt. I don't want it really wet, but just a little bit. And you can see it's curling up. And I'm going to quickly take my heat tool and I'm going to give that a little drying for a second. Okay, next I'm going to take my little jewels here, and I'm only going to need three, and I'm just going to simply take a jewel and place one for the center of the flowers. And I'm going to be adding some of the cotton candy stickles to these flowers, but you do want to get your little gems on first, unless you're going to wait until the stickles dry, because otherwise you're going to have a real mess on your hands trying to get the little jewels in the middle of the flowers with the stickles still wet. So I'm just going to take my cotton candy stickles, and this is such a nice light pink, and all I'm going to do is for each of these flowers, I'm going to go around and just place the stickles right over the top. So we're just coloring them in. So that just takes a few minutes. And these do take a little while to dry. So I'm going to set this aside. You can use your heat tool, but make sure you hold it back. A little ways from the stickles because it does tend to dull them and it can even make them flatten out and kind of look burnt so these are a good thing to just set aside and just let them dry in their own time they don't take too long if you don't put them on too thickly but probably half an hour to an hour to let them sit there but I'll show you right now what they look like. And this is going to be more shiny when it's dry. They just look kind of wet right now. They'll be a nice light pink. Okay, while we're letting that dry, I'm going to take my score tape and my ribbon. I'm going to be using this tan colored ribbon first. So I'm just going to add some score tape right to the back of it. And we'll just pull off the backing. So, I need to see where I'm going to put it, so I'm going to lay my lace down on the card. I don't want that hanging off the bottom of my card, so I'm going to take this ribbon and just place it a little higher up than my lace. And I am going to have to trim this. I cut the ribbon just a little bit longer than I needed. so that I would have enough. But this lace is just going to go right over the top, so I'm going to add a little bit more score tape right along my tan colored ribbon. Just tear that off. Okay. 
so it's just going to go right over the top. So I left a little bit of space at the bottom of the card so none of it's hanging off. I'm going to take my scissors and I like to just turn it over so I can see right where the edge of my card is and just trim that right off. Okay, same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm going to take my girl image and I put score tape on the back there if you can see that. And I'm just going to place it right on the front of the card just slightly above the ribbon. Well, mine is not quite dry yet. I would prefer to let it wait longer or you could put the image on the front and then do the stickles. That would probably be the best way to do it. So all we need to do yet is put the ribbon on and I'm just going to take a little glue dot just put it on the back of my ribbon there and this will just go right on the front. And our card is finished. Thanks so much for watching.